This is my biggest winning cash game session. Online, I think. It has to be. So, he opens under the gun. I flat with Jack's in the big blind. Flop comes Jack. Queen, Jack, nine, rainbow. I check, he checks back. The turn comes a brick. I bet big, he calls. And the river comes a 10. I check and he checks back. All right, flop two pair over 10, uh, with 7-4. Gonna get check raised a lot, which is good. Again, this guy's gonna check raise a shitload. And even though this is a hand that can three bet and probably does three bet a lot, I do wanna keep in a lot of his air. Okay, you just check calls. I think maybe betting massive on the turn and then potentially checking back some rivers. I think overbet is good here. I think overbet is really good here. But then we, we're gonna have to check back a lot of rivers. This guy's just got in aces on this foot on this board. At what point did you get an aces, buddy? I guess it was a four bet part. Um Checking would be disgusting here, wouldn't it? Does he have 8-9 here? I don't think he does. We block Queen-7 and Queen-4 suited. Queen-10 is possible. Can't have 7-6. Seven, 6-4 six. Six, of hearts uh, is possible. I think on this river specifically, I don't think he's going to have enough hands that are better. And this is by far the worst hand I can ever value bet. He can have hands like Ace-Queen and King-Queen here that are put in a spot. so we should be good ace queen love to see it man i'm really glad i went for value there and didn't check back i think it's literally the worst hand i can value bet but if you consider i don't think he has eight nine because i think he check raises so he can have queen 10 and he can have like queen seven and queen four suited but we have spades so we block those combos so i think that's a really good um a really good like i, I worked it out in my head that he just doesn't have even though it's actually thin once we overbet the turn i think he has such uh so few hands that are actually better than ours that we just have to we just have to call uh, that we just have to have to value it picking up the aces boys no walk ski please oh deep as shit here if he four bets i will literally five bet Oh my god. Am I gonna five bet? Am I really gonna five bet against the fish? 180 deep. This is not a thing. Oh my god. Hold. Nah. Nice. Always good to win the first. Hold. No diamond. Oh my god. The 3.5k pot, boys. Oh my god. <laughs> How'd you get a diamond sweat both times? Oh my god. Woo. So the reason I five bet that is because I'm against the fun player. If I'm against the reg, I can't f uh, five bet. Two reasons. One, it's pretty fucking clear I have aces. Two, we want to allow bluffs in. I don't think he's ever going to four bet bluff with the way that he's playing. I don't think he's going to four bet bluff that deep to 30 big blinds. Oh my god, the 3.5k pot, boys. I'm very aroused. No, late Raj. Uh, picking up the kings. Uh, I'm gonna call this four bet here. It's got nine, what do I wanna do? 24, 25? I could shove this as well. Ink 25 here. Okay. We 
Okay, we hold the first. Always good to hold the first. No ace or queen. No ace or queen. Wow, this sun run is insane, man. Jesus Christ. If I'd have, if I'd have uh, like, chopped there, I would have been absolutely okay with it. Jesus fucking Christ. Is that we're close to 10k? Seems like a pretty good hand to check. Down here, against our very strange friend, we open BBB, check, check, flop. Uh, here, I think check, call, and turn. Ten of spades. Probably just going to hit the ten of spades on the river. Ah, uh, that's a really shitty river. I guess he bet some ace tens and ace jacks, so we shouldn't have that many ace acts here. I actually think check call in this river, because I, I don't think he's... Is, is his ace five suited ever going to bet here? And he should be bluffing hands like seven. Uh, ten nine suited, which kind of makes sense. So Maybe missed a bit of value, but I think that... Uh, I, I like the way we played that hand. Hey, don't, don't jinx it, Pat. Still time, yeah. Um, calling ace nine BVB. I think batting or checking this turn is fine. Versus check. I uh, don't know how often he's going to barrel it. Yeah, I'm going to check and just give him some room on river. Ooh. Weird one here. Hello, Richie. How's it going? I'm going to have to raise versus that turn. Thank you, Richie. Yeah, first of many, hopefully. There's going to be uh, a fair few vlogs coming out. Picking up the aces. Fucking hell. Can't wait for the highlights of this to go on YouTube. Oh, my God, you run so good. Yeah, and? <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. This guy's really not been 3 betting a lot as well. I thought he was going to call four. Uh, we'll go 25. Yeah, we'll go 25. Oh, wow. I'm actually surprised, to be honest. He was playing so whoppy and just, like, checking back ridiculous hands. Surprised he's folded. I am in a new place for now, yeah. This is not where I'm going to live full-time, but... <laughs> I'll, I'll speak about it. You'll see me speak about it in a second. Okay, 10's not the worst board here. I think batting or checking is fine. Maybe he calls like five, sixes, sevens and stuff. So I might even try and get two streets here. Okay, now we have to check and check call in the hope that he bluffs something like four, five suited or fives or sixes. Which he doesn't. Bet he's got sixes. King, queen. Okay. Do I want a range bet? Hmm. I don't think range bet in this texture. I don't think I ever want to bluff this hand either. Guess just check fold, even though it doesn't feel good. Uh, up here, we are going to bluff river. Especially unblocking the queen jack, king queen type hands. Not going too big. My value is going to consist of 10x and some two pairs. Um, not trying to fold out like 9x. Bluffs here. Just uh, I think this is a combo that we're going to have to bluff. Should have some like... Ace highs, maybe, as well, at fold. Nice jungle VIP with the 15 months. Oh, look at me. Oh, I'm playing 1K and L. Um, yeah, I, I mean, this is one of those spots where, like, I don't think it's good to bat. I don't think it's good to... It's annoying against aggressive players because they will just stab a lot on turns. But, like, it's just such a bad... What do you mean, Pop? Literally, literally, what are you talking about? Uh, I think just check folding has to be the play here. Against someone that we know is a bit of an agtard as well that gets out of line, I'll be just checking like kings at full frequency. There. Especially when he does shit like that. So, welcome back. Guys, loads and loads of resubs today, so thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, we are going to 3-bet him here. I'm going to go 11. Here, I'm on a 14, so I'm not going to 4-bet him. But I would 4-bet this at a reasonable frequency. 
Don't want to just be all about blasting too often. Little calls. We see another A side board. I think I, I honestly think just quarter part with range. I want to see the different A side boards and the, exactly how we we play versus them. Blocking the combo base jack suited is nice. Deuces is possible. Jacks is possible. Um, and I think I'm going to check turn. And maybe even check river as well, just to have some ace axe. Like, I think ace king, ace queen. Ace king, I'm definitely betting turn. There's no question. Uh, this might end up being a bluff catcher. I might check call turn and check call river. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to check this river as well, just to allow any potential, like, king queens to bluff and stuff. You know, to try and fold out, like, eights and nines if a range better. So I think that my ace king is never going to take this line. Maybe I should just only do this with that ace five suited and try and go for value here. Um, we beat tens, which is nice. Honestly. Honestly. Uh, I don't know if I should even defend this. For some reason, I thought I was playing an MTT because it was a, a blue felt. So, I mean, versus min raise, it's probably fine anyway. But uh, We'll check raise this flop, I think. Will we? Oh, uh, no, not versus that size. And Ace is a good card as well, because he can hit some top pairs, and it gives us two pairs, so... I uh, could probably lead. Don't know, mate. Any chance going WPT uh, win in December? It would actually probably make sense to. I was going to go um, late November, mid-late November, because I've got friends there until November. What is this size of? I think he's going to have some 6 out. It'd be weird for him to be batting this river with the size that he picks on the turn. So I expect it to go check check a lot. When it doesn't, I'm going to be confused as to what he's got. If he has some sort of king like with the size on the turn, I think he's just a fish. So. Yeah, I'm going to call this and hopefully he's just got some, some nonsense. Like Queen Nana. Yep. Sometimes the bet just don't make no sense. Uh, so here, we're going to three bets versus under the gun. Against that, I, like I really don't want to get four bet here, but I still think that we want to three bet for value. Um, this is going to be a hand that wants to bet most likely. I mean, I guess he will have sets. Does this hand still just want to bet, get it in? Uh, okay. <laughs> and I don't know what the strategy is on this turn, but I am going to check my range on this turn. I would imagine... It wouldn't surprise me if it is a range check. Maybe not, because we'll have 6-7 suited as well. Pretty dumb, but, like, it's also a spot where, like, because I have, like, queens, kings, and jacks here a lot as well, that I'm going to need to protect those. When he has 6x, it's game over, and we, and we get stacked, because we don't really have enough 6x. Picking up the aces... Uh, really shit turn. So can have big bets here. I think just range bet and small is fine on this board versus big blinds. Maybe like half pot with range or something. Again, th this is kind of a spot where it gets a bit weird in terms of multi-barreling now as well. Like, can this be a, a three-street hand? Okay, it goes for a really tiny lead, which is... I could even raise this hand, to be fair. Uh, we river the nuts, though, because life is easy when you meet. And you can have, like, queen axe with the, with the queen of spades here as well, which is really nice. Um, and I'm just going to go really big here. I don't think he's going to call non-flushes. And he's, I, I think he's always going to call his flushes. Interesting to note what we'd have to bluff here is some stuff like... It might even be two pairs, like Queen Jack and stuff. Um, yeah, he's just going to call those. So I think that's pretty good on our part. Our boy Phoenix here has got an aces against kings, which we like. We want... Well, we definitely don't want to see him one hour. So hopefully he holds. Phoenix, if you watch him, watch your name on Twitch. Oh, fuck off, man. Come on, he's got one out. 
Ace. It's nine. Unlucky, buddy. Um, yeah, we're going to have to call four bet here with the tens. Uh, so what I actually think I'm supposed to do here, here is I'm supposed to four bet call tens and four bet fold jacks, if I'm not mistaken. It might not be these positions, but I think it is because I don't think he, he's never supposed to shove jacks. And against the range that shoves, which is primarily kings and ace king, tens has more equity against ace king than jacks does. So actually, four bet calls tens, and I think four bet folds jacks because when jacks isn't in the range, the problem is with this guy being a fun player, he might shove a hand like jack. So if he does that, then it's better to just call where you uh, where you're based on in your range. Am I range betting this board? Is there a point in betting this hand? I feel as though I should just range bet. She is, uh, she is, she is endgame. Full wall UHD pre peep show. That's what I'm talking about. So the package is still ongoing. Uh, so he's going to have ace, queen, and jacks here. Like, I'm never going to bet to try and fold out jacks. I'm just going to... I mean, we only beat, like, ace, jack suited. And nines, because when he has to, he has to ball bet nines. The thing is, I've played my hand so on top that you should just bluff nine. Or sevens if he has sevens. Joe me pocket nines. Sevens, yeah. Imagine not bluffing sevens in that spot. Excuses are so lame. Picking up the kings. I, I really don't want to be this deep against this dude up here. Just fold. How much did you have of yourself in the Triton? Uh, that would be none of your business, sir. A snap calls, which is pretty interesting. Um, can play a check and range here, but I don't mind betting really small as well. Um, so when somebody snap calls, I think their range is going to look like, you know, we're not going to see queens often. We're not going to see, um, we're going to see hands like ace queen suited and we're going to see hands like nines. Just hands that play really well that are just obvious calls. Um, having the king of diamonds is not really good here. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty shit run out as well. Yeah, easy check back. So we still beat some like tens. We need, we need him to have tens with the diamond. Or oh, jack nine suited, if he's a fifth. Uh, no, Nagy probably doesn't know. I think he said no originally because he didn't want me to get it done. Because, like, I felt like I had to. Or, like, if I was going to get it done, like, on my ass, I feel as though that's inappropriate. And I've got a photo of him on my on my bum. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to tell him about it, I don't think. Just going to get it done. If he says no, I'll be like, well, a bit late, buddy. But that's not you. It's just somebody that looks like you, you know? No way. Oh. Misclick min raised. I'm going to make it 2.2, but it doesn't really matter, does that? I am going to see about the slot. I'm going to flat here, raise king on the button, because we've got the weaker players in the blinds. I also really don't want to... This guy doesn't like four bet a lot, but he's pretty um, active. So I think just calling is fine. We're, we'll end up seeing a turn... Probably a river. Less so on that. Uh, get check raised here. Have to call one. And I'm going to fold here versus overbet because I would just rather have better hands, I guess. So I, this guy hasn't check raised yet. It's not in many hands. Um, we're looking at like the five, six suiteds and stuff for. We're dead, basically, against... Five. Actually, Ace-8... I wonder if 10-8 is better called than... I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to err on the side of caution. We should probably theoretically continue there. Um, do I want to raise this? I think we have to. You think reg table's better for zoom than build and bankroll? 100%, yeah. Generally a lot softer. Bluffs, I guess, fives. Nice. King, queen. Queens. Okay. Wow. Nice. He actually blocks king, queen, so I actually really like his call with queens. We could have won a much bigger part, though. Check race percentage, like, super low. Yeah. I mean, we only beat hearts. We're dead against uh, value. Apart from 6-7, but we're basically dead against 
So with Stone Dead against five four suited um, sevens and sixes, and yeah, I don't know. I don't think we're gonna want to lead here. His turn C bet's super low as well. It's such a dumb spot to fold. I hate folding spots like that on stream. Um, don't think we can fold versus half pot. Uh, that's a really weird one. I mean, I'm just not folding. Okay, so we, we win. Uh, King Jack with the King of Diamonds, was that? Yeah, King Jack with the King of Diamonds. Fucking lucky river, man. Jesus. I've got two out. What a lie. Let's look at results first. That was yesterday. Oh my god. Boys. Look at that. Fuck it. Look how clean that is. Look how clean that is. This is my biggest winning cash game session. Online, I think. It has to be. Um, so three bet and small blind versus cut off with ace 10 suited. Cut off calls. I just mainly want to see the strategy on the flop here on ace jack deuce rainbow. Probably mixing, right? Okay, brain spot. I went small with ace 10 suited, villain calls, and then I decided to check on a brick turn. Can't remember what the turn was. Say it was a seven. I think the river was the seven, but. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense that... No, it wasn't. It, it would have been a three. Because I remember thinking ace five suited. It was a three. Full rainbow, but doogie. And it's weird to me that ace king... Like, so the way I construct my range here is ace... Like, ace ten's better way more often than ace king. I guess because king queen and stuff. Oh, no, probably just frequencies because we have ace ten. So we only have three combos of ace ten, whereas we have a shitload of ace king. So we're going to want to check back more because we're batting more by definition because we have, I, I don't know. And this one, which was a uh, four bet pot, which is pretty fun. So button cut off MP. Hijack, sorry. Hijack, cut off. We called four bets. We go a bit bigger than this with tens. Interesting how it's folding sometimes. Falls to the cut off, who peel sevens. Yep. And then king queen eight six. Are we, we're probably range betting, right? But very small. Yeah, I fucking knew it. Do sevens ever raise here? No. Yeah, so, but I check back. It's not really going to show this. And then turn comes a six. Goes check, check. River comes fucking... What did I... I only beat nines. And sevens. Let's say it's a deuce. Does sevens bluff now? What do you mean, No. Again, one of them spots where... I mean, it's, this is different anyway because we're range betting, so... But it's a spot where sevens does not win. It has 0% chance of winning. But betting is worse.